Hello and welcome to Game Token Watch with me, your host John Jordan. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the performance of uh, a number of blockchain game projects and their tokens over the last uh, three months. So that's the period of the 1st of July to the 30th of September 2018. 29 uh, projects that we're looking at, um, 29 projects that have enough liquidity for us to get a dollar price on them. Um, most of them are in fairly early stages, so, so that's a caveat. Another caveat before we get too far um, into this video is that um, this is not investment advice. I guess you know that because you're a smart person, um, but uh, just, to, just to be clear, this is not a video telling you what to invest in. In the blockchain cryptocurrency market at the moment, we are not in an investment scenario. We are very much in, in a speculative scenario. I would put it very um, akin to uh, going into a casino and and gambling your money. But in a casino, you actually know what the odds are. So um, if you're good at poker, you roughly know how good you are as a poker player. If you go on, onto the roulette wheel, you kind of know what the odds are. That's been well recognized over hundreds of years of statistical um, analysis. When we come to the uh, cryptocurrency blockchain uh, kind of industry at the moment, we absolutely have no idea. So Bitcoin's been around for 10 years, but we have no idea what the value of Bitcoin is. People make interesting attempts um, to value what a Bitcoin should be worth. Um, but actually, no one has any idea. It is a value every day, every second of every day, obviously. Uh, but this is not about investment. This is, um, for me, about intellectual curiosity. So I'm interested in the blockchain game space. I know a lot about games. I know a little bit about blockchain, um, and I'm trying to combine that in an interesting way. Which is why I do these videos. So, so please do not be spending um, your money uh, buying these tokens in the hope that you will uh, go and retire in Malibu. Um, let's say I do this for intellectual curiosity. Um, I buy some of these tokens, but when I say buy these tokens, I'm not spending thousands of dollars. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars. I'm spending tens of dollars um, to satisfy my curiosity. So, so please be aware. That is the situation and that is the reason I'm doing these videos, so please do not be spending money you cannot lose um, in, the, in this kind of scenario. So anyway, um, with, with that caveat um, out the way, let's get into the uh, the fun and games. So I guess as anyone who's interested in, in blockchain or crypto knows over the last three months, or certainly the um, July to September period in 2018, um, a disaster, really. Um, so. The whole year has been pretty much a disaster, but this, this quarter has been um, uh, as disastrous, if not more so than, than others. Actually, Bitcoin was up a, a small amount, as we can see in the graph here. So Bitcoin here, obviously not a game token, but um, I, I put it in for comparative purposes. Um, the big downside here, we have Ethereum. So Ethereum lost um, pretty much 50% of its value during this Q3 period, and it's been losing its value throughout, throughout the year. Obviously, most of these tokens at the moment are ERC-20 uh, tokens. Um, so Ethereum based, so we can kind of see the uh, momentum um, overall in the cryptocurrency space not being very good. So um, to, from, from that point of view, these, these tokens here on the positive side, the nice blue ones, actually doing a pretty good job. Now at this point, um, another caveat I suppose, um, I don't know how much you know about psychology, but I've read a bit. Um, and we have to be careful of confirmation bias. So it's very easy to see, well, these ones were positive and, and then come up with reasons for why they were positive, which is what I'm going to do next. Um, but we have to be careful that, uh, you know, when we look down, so there's 29 game tokens I'm looking at here. So five were positive. That means 24 were negative. Um, all the ones that were negative here, I have good reasons why some of them are negative. Um, but some of these are good tokens. Some of these are, are, are good projects that may come to a uh, main five momentum at some point in the future. Um, we just haven't done in this period where Ethereum has lost 50% value. So we have to be a bit careful from a psychological point of view that we're not just kind of making up reasons why you know these things happen and then we make up reasons why they happen, which is not very predictive for the future. But I will point out, at least for three of these tokens here, um, some interesting uh, kind of dynamics, I guess, in, in the company, in, in the companies involved. So the biggest one here is um, RCC, so Re Reality Clash coins. That's the token. So Reality Clash is a uh, is a, a token that is uh, being created for a game. So it's a mobile game. It's actually quite complicated. It's a location-based AR VR 
uh, shooter mobile game. So it basically couldn't get any more complex as a uh, blockchain game project. What's been interesting is they did an ICO um, in September 2017. They raised, you know, not a large amount, but kind of uh, three and a half million dollars. Um, and then over 2018, they've been adding what we might, I guess, have to use the term utility. So people who bought the token in the um, IOC have now been able to spend that token in what the game calls the Army, or Armory, a web-based uh, kind of a, a portal. So you can go in and spend your R um, RCCs and you can buy limited edition weapons that can be used in the game. So there's some measure of utility that's been um, created there. Next thing that comes up will be a marketplace. So you can start trading these uh, these kind of limited edition guns. And they're all kind of, effectively they're guns that will work in the game, but these are limited edition because they have um, skins um, on them. So, so that's where the limited edition thing comes from. Um, and then the game's going to come out. I'm not quite sure when. It's going to enter beta fairly soon. Um, and, and come out probably now in 2019, perhaps. I mean, obviously, the app stores have their own uh, certification process, so the game has to go through that. But this is a game that at least has generated some sort of momentum. It's gone from ICO to a token you, you can actually spend buying digital goods, um, and then may, maybe you'll be able to trade those. Certainly, we've not got we've not got to the state where the game's live and people are, millions of people are playing it, so we can't say this is job done, but um, there's something going on there. Um, these two other tokens here are, 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 I guess, a bit earlier. So, um, F, um, sorry, RFR is Referium. So Referium is, is what I call a community play. So at the moment the, the Referium website is up, you can go and log in, you can go and watch videos, um, and get Referium, which is a, um, let's say, a, 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 an ERC twenty token. Not quite sure where where they're going as a company um, in terms of the kind of the, the, their their long long-term uh, kind of goal, their, their vision, but certainly with the community they've got, they've got quite a large community, um, and they're starting to use that in, in, I guess, what we might call a kind of advertising manner. If you have a large community, you can adver you can advertisers want to um, talk to that community in a certain way, so that they, um, Referum had a big deal with uh, Fortnite, when Fortnite um, was, was just kicking off, and now there's other PC games that they're kind of getting involved with, so people watching streams on Twitter, that kind of thing, getting, getting rewarded with this referium token for that and then obviously you can uh, not obviously but you can then use this referium token if you have enough of them you can use it to buy steam keys so um, something going on there and this one here engine again interesting we're starting to see what they call the engine guys at least call the the uh, multiverse so this is a whole bunch of blockchain games which are using their uh, kind of infrastructure to create uh, tokens to create game items they're quite big on technology and standards so the, one of the guys at uh, um, engine was um, part of the ERC 721 collectible token on, on uh, uh, ethereum and they also now created a new standard called uh, ERC 1155 which is a I won't go into details but a kind of interesting combination of, of ERC 721 and the ERC 20 token so it's kind of a really a way of kind of bundling and um, sell, kind of reselling so, so, so there is some momentum going on in these ones. Over here, we have this big mass of, of tokens losing a lot of value. Um, don't want to go into too much detail here. Certainly, down down this end, it becomes difficult if you're losing, you know, over seventy five percent of your of your token value against the dollar in a quarter. That becomes hard to come back up again because obviously, if you use, if you lose seventy five percent of your dollar value in a quarter, then you have to go 300% up the next quarter to kind of get back to where you were. So this, I think, um, some of these, are, I guess what we know from the blockchain space in general and the blockchain game space in particular is that a lot of people um, ICO'd last year on, on a wing and a prayer and a, and a white paper. And, you know, that wasn't necessarily wrong. They weren't scammers, but they didn't really know how to build a business. They didn't really know about games and what game companies needed. They didn't know what kind of gamers wanted. And we're starting to see this kind of fallout now. And, and some of these companies, probably quite a lot of these companies, will um, not exist over the coming months. Some of them will. I'm not going to go into too much detail on, on, on the stuff in red because I think there's this confirmation bias thing where it would be kind of easy for me to pick some out that I think that I like and um, kind of uh, slag some off of 
slag some other companies off that I maybe don't know as much about as I should. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but just the big point is at the moment, blockchain game um, space is very busy. So we've got 29 companies that have got to the stage of having a token, which is li li liquid on some sort of exchanges or some sort of kind of um, kind of smaller platforms. Um, that's good. Um, the majority of those will not kind of get to a uh, interesting um, final state. Um, that again in business is, is kind of how it works. Um, and this is kind of point of doing these quarterly uh, reviews of, of where the blockchain game um, business is, at least in terms of token value. So token value again is not everything. There's lots of other things going on in the market, but this is I think it's a good snapshot just to see kind of where we are, which is why I do these videos every quarter. Do other videos as well, um, focusing in, in a bit more detail. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like the uh, blockchain game um, sector, it is a, uh, we're just starting out really. So um, there will be more videos coming on if you're interested in the blockchain game space um, and the kind of financial aspects of that. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, but thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.